everyone! Today I am going to be doing a thrift store haul. This is just going to be an accumulation of things that I have gotten thrifting within the past like couple of weeks. Um, I feel like I have a decent amount of stuff to show now, so I'm just going to show you guys what I got recently. Um, first thing I got, um, this is perfect for Halloween. I found a Starbucks um, coffee mug and it is Halloween themed. It's just a real tall, nice tall black um, coffee mug with a trick-or-treat uh, print on it. And I thought that was cute. And on the inside, if you can see that, there is a little pumpkin head right there. And this was $1.97. So I thought that would be cute to put in um, some teas and stuff like that. Um, I found this Victoria's Secret. This is just a little... A little bag. It's not going to hold a whole lot because it is kind of small, but it just has the pink and white striped um, print on it, and I think that's really cute. And this was 97 cents. And typically, oh, it also has a little like key ring holder attached to it. But um, anyway, typically when I find Victoria's Secret stuff in thrift stores, they kind of have a habit of marking them up. So when I find them for super, anything Victoria's Secret for a real cheap, like less than a dollar, I think that's amazing because typically they would try to sell this for like maybe three bucks or something. So for 97 cents, great deal there. So I got that. Um, I saw that in a thrift store today. Um, apparently they're moving to a different location. So to cut down on the process of them moving everything, they were having a sale and all of their clothing was just one dollar. And it wasn't a big thrift store to begin with, they don't really have a whole lot of stuff. Um, but I did get a couple pieces of clothing and these were all a dollar a piece and I plan on reselling all of them. Uh, the first one I got was this Disney shirt and this is from the Disney Parks and it has a Mickey Mouse print on the front. and. The whole Mickey Mouse silhouette is made up of sequins, so I thought that was cute for a dollar. I figured I would try that. Um, I got a, I found a Lily Pulitzer shirt there, and this, this is just a basic, like, um, Pima cotton short sleeve shirt. It's just a blue, basic shirt, um not anything too real interesting in it but it is like a really nice thick cotton um i found this ann taylor top and this is just like a royal blue um sleeveless tank top so this would be great for next summer it's just really nice dressy looking and then the last piece of clothing i found there for a dollar and this is the first time i've ever seen this brand at um, thrift store, yard sale, what have you. I've never seen it before. But this is an Alice and Olivia top. And that's a pretty high-end brand. I always see it in my, you know, those magazines that you um, read. Uh, but it's just this blue and it's going to be really hard to kind of show exactly how it would look when being worn because it's very flowy but the sleeves are like bat winged it looks like that so just kind of like drapes and stuff so anyway that was a dollar so that was a great deal for a dollar I found a couple pair of shoes and these I specifically also got to resell these ones, um, these are just a by a brand called Mia. Um, I don't think that they really retailed for a whole lot, but I thought they were cute and they were my size, so if they're not really worth anything, I'll probably just keep them. But they're just little black flats, and I thought they were really cute. And these were $3.99. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. And then I found these Clarks. And they are the Active Air. And they kind of just look like little Mary Jeans. They're black with a buckle over the toe part with a with a little bit of a heel to them. So I thought they were cute for fall. And Clark shoes are very, very nicely made. So I got those. And then I found these Clarks and these are just 
the brown artisans and these screamed fall to me they're just this brown leather slip-on kind of shoe so I got those as well oh and these the shoes were all $3.99 a pair I don't know if I mentioned um, while I was holding them up but $3.99 Um, I don't know if I ever hauled this or not, so if I did, I apologize, but um, I don't think that I did. But I found this little Crabtree and Evelyn gift set, and this is just like a bath set. It came in a box like this, and then it had these products in it. Um, there was one missing, but, you know, it's not a big deal. These are all new. Um, I guess someone used the one and then decided they didn't want the rest of them. But it's just a Lily of the Valley shower gel, a lavender shower gel, an iris shower gel, and a rose water shower gel. So I guess they kept one of them. They kept the Gardener's Hand Therapy um, hand cream. And then, you know, donated the shower gels to the thrift store. So I got that. I forget how much it costs because price tag's no longer on it, but I think it was like a dollar and some change, maybe two and some change, I'm not sure. But whenever I see Crabtree and Evelyn, I like to pick it up because I think the products are really nice quality. So then when I was thrifting the other day, I found another Crabtree and Evelyn product, and this was just a um, little cosmetic bag, and it still had the tag attached. Um, I paid a dollar and 97 cents for this, and there was also something missing in here. I think it might have been two things missing in here. Um, but um, there were two products in there. And the first was a pomegranate um, hand therapy. And I love their hand therapies. I think they are really, really moisturizing. So I got that. And then also in there was this brand new um, nail um buffer brick thing that has like you know all the sides on to buff and polish and shine your nails and I needed a new one of these so I figured for $1.97 I'd pay a dollar for one at the Dollar Tree anyway plus I'd be getting a nice hand cream and a bag so I just picked it up uh, I found this and this was just randomly thrown in this basket by the front of the store and you know, I wasn't even going to dig in it because it just looked like a junk basket pretty much. But I decided to just take a look anyway. And I'm so glad I did because I found this Woodwick um, Sea Salt Caramel Sachet. And this smells so freaking good. This was 99 cents. And I'm probably going to put this in either my lingerie drawer or my closet. I haven't decided yet. But this smells so, so good. This is like the perfect scent in my opinion. Sea Salt Caramel. You can smell it right through the package, too. So, I'm glad I dug in that junky basket because I found something good in there. Um, I found this book, and this was just so weird, and I had to get it. Um, it's called Baby's First Tattoo, and when I saw it, I'm like, what in the heck is that? Like, it's just so weird. Um, but apparently, it's like a baby book for adults who I guess are kind of like more how do I want to describe that alternative oh, I was gonna say alternative but I didn't know There's if that was the correct word <laughs> um but it starts off as saying millions of people think children are the cutest cuddliest most wonderful saintly creatures in the entire world these people do not have children <laughs> So I just thought it was really funny and it's like a baby book in the fact that you can like write down different things but they have like the funniest, um, the funniest things like but, um, apparently this retail for $12.95 I think I paid like 40 some cents. Um, Goodwill's books are usually pretty cheap and it was never written in so I guess someone maybe got it as like a joke kind of thing. Which is pretty much how I'd construe it as as well. Um, let's see. I guess this is the last thing I have. I like to look um, randomly at like the toys and stuff because I look for like vintage toys and things like that when I'm at the thrift store. Um, I happened upon this elephant um, shoved into a toy bin, and I don't know what it was about this thing, but 
So I randomly seen this elephant in a toy bin and I picked him up and I just thought he was the cutest little thing ever. He was really heavy and I kind of assumed, you know, he did something but I wasn't sure what he did. Um, I figured, you know, if anything I'd have to replace his batteries and I'd find out what he did, you know, when I got home. But he started going off in the store as I was carrying him around and making a heck of a racket and people were just looking at me like, what is she have in her hands. <laughs> but anyway, this is a um, a for real pet. Um, Hasbro came out with them, I think, like, I don't know, maybe a couple years ago or whatnot. Um, but I think these are so cute, and I'm going to make it do some stuff so you guys can see what he does. So he does this, like, when you pet his back. And then when you pet him... He does that, and then you can tickle him like this, and he does that. <laughs> I just thought that was so cute, and he was a dollar and ninety-seven cents. So I got him. I think my dog is afraid of it, though. I think he just kiss, can we kiss? Tickle, 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 tickle. No, he's not doing anything. No. Anyway, you guys, that is my thrift store haul. I hope you guys like it. And I will see you next, next time. <laughs>